Como ya la vi, solita. Ah, uh, yes, music, music. So music has always been a really big part of my life. In fact, my very first memory is being carried into my parents' friend's home and some oldie song was playing on the radio. Parts of my life can be categorized into songs that were playing at the time. There's always been some theme or some anthem. I knew all the lyrics to Sinatra songs as a kid. Whitney Houston was always playing in my mom's car. Garth Brooks in my dad's car. Music has just always deeply resonated with me and it's something that I've always loved to share. But it wasn't until I got out of college that I ventured into the realm of listening to music on a nice sound system. Enter my first apartment. So I graduate college, I land a job. My mom says, Dominic, I love you, but you need to move out. So I get this cool little studio apartment on the plaza in Kansas City, no TV, a blow-up mattress, this is a true story. The first thing I buy, I walk down the street to the Apple store and I walk out with a Bowers and Wilkins Zeppelin. And that was a great decision. I loved it, it sounded amazing. I played it constantly. But as that aged, I wanted to kind of venture out and try some new things. So I did, eventually I landed on Sonos. I first bought a single Sonos One, and then I bought another, and then I bought another, and then I bought another. <laughs> Why, what gives, Dominic, why? Well, three things. Design, sound, and technology. Wow, aren't these handsome? Sleek, monolithic, but they're neutral. I love these because they're not statement pieces. They're kind of like bits of shelving in that they seemingly blend in with whatever scene they're in, which is what I want. They're more complimentary rather than being things. If I had OJA speakers, that'd be a thing. And they'd become the prominent part of this space. And that's fine, but that's just not the current state here. I want my furniture to do the talking. The cool thing about these is they just kind of blend into the space. They don't even add or take away from it. It's just kind of like, there they are. How do these speakers sound? Wow, great question. How do these speakers sound? Good. They're fairly neutral, but do most music justice. I have super eclectic taste in music and these hit kind of a sweet spot for me. The ones I have have good bass for their size, but they're not gonna hit any earth-shaking lows. That's where having a sub would come in. These are gonna be more than enough for most people, even picky people. However, if you're an audiophile, you're probably onto something else. Uh, a mentor of mine is an audiophile and a car guy, and I was talking to him at an event once and we started talking about speakers and I brought up my Sonos and he kind of cringed and I was like, what's up? And he was like, they're fine, but they're kind of like the Lexus of speakers. And I knew exactly what he meant by that. He meant these are objectively good speakers, but they perhaps lack the soul that you would find in more of an audiophile speaker. And even as someone who is so into music, I am totally fine with that in exchange for their devilishly good looks, for the incredibly easy setup, and the ability to scale my setup as I go. And I mean, they sound good. They sound real good. These aren't the restored all-tech movie theater speakers that you're seeing in the new trendy bar, but for a home, these will impress 99% of people. Almost everyone who comes into my home comments on the sound of these things. 
technology, techno, knowledge, knowledge. So these are easy to set up. You connect to them through an app. You can dedicate them to specific rooms and have specific volume set for each room, or even stop playing in certain rooms, say someone's trying to sleep. You can even link them together in stereo as I've done in my living room. After setup, you're not gonna be in the Sonos app too much. I listen to Spotify, I connect to them through my Spotify app. I kinda live there. So I'm thinking about this and I'm realizing something. It's the technology that keeps me buying Sonos. If I were just buying speakers for this living room, I'd buy something different, something more elevated. But I'm not buying speakers for a room, I'm buying speakers for a home. And that's where Sonos becomes the go-to. Sonos is just ahead of the game when it comes to UX, scalability of the system, setup. It's a multi-room play. If you're buying for a room, they're good. If you're buying for a home, they're great. I love having people over, I love hosting, and it just sets the vibe when you have music flowing from one room to the next, from the living room to the dining room to the kitchen. So I can make it a fool when I'm listening to the music. By the way, a lot of y'all sleeping on PB&Js lately. But Dominic, I'm an adult. Why would I care about pb and Shut up. Better ingredients. Better PB&Js. Dominic's Khaleesi. One of the things I started doing with these when I got this place is with my best friend. We call it Friday Five. And both of us bring five songs that we're super excited about. I bring in every Sonos speaker I have into this living room and we just listen to them fully. That's it. And it's become one of my favorite pastimes. I feel like attention nowadays is spread so thin. It feels good to just be able to focus, especially on something you might deeply resonate with, such as music. Final thoughts. There is one art form that everyone gets. Not everyone gets paintings. Not everyone gets performance art. Everyone gets music. As kids, we can't help but dance when we hear it. Shit, even animals like music. We've all seen adorable videos of animals bobbing their heads to music. Plants like music. So why wouldn't we take our sound systems more seriously? If we're all so affected by music, why wouldn't we want that to be the best experience possible? No one has ever listened to In the Air Tonight and not needed to do wind sprints immediately after. There's a big difference between listening to that song on a clock radio versus a real deal sound system. One makes sound, the other immerses you in it. And Sonos is the latter. All right, I did it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.